Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this short video lecture I will guide you about stirrup hooks details for plinth and top beam. Guys you can see. And the second one lapping joint for column. The third one beam and column joint. Okay junction. So this is the very important topic so therefore watch this video till the end to learn something new. So let's get started guys. If this video is helpful for you so you may like this video. As you can see the beam is in 3D okay and this is stirrup guys you can see clear okay as I told you in many videos that the stirrup hooks should be bent with 135 degree in many videos I have already discussed but it should not be bent with 90 degree because guys this is wrong okay 135 degree hooks should be bent but the uh, the hooks should be placed or the stirrups should be placed alternately not in the same direction okay some type uh, sometime the hooks should be placed on the upward side sometime at the downward side so therefore it is very important next what should be the length of hooks length of hooks guys you can see remember guys the length of the hooks should be 6d where d is dia of stirrup for example if the dia of stirrup is 8 millimeter so 8 millimeter 6 multiply 8 millimeter so from this you will get length of hook but the hook length should not be less than 3 inches so this is minimum 3 inches okay so this is very important now what should be the spacing of stirrups so the spacing of stirrups should not be more than from 100 to 150 mm this is the spacing c slash c center to center distance okay but at the mid you can increase from 150 to 200 mm this is very important okay because at the end of the support we have maximum shear stresses okay so so to avoid the maximum shear stresses so therefore the spacing should be uh, minimum at the end okay but at the mid it should be from 150 to 200 mm but the first stirrup should be placed with minimum 25 inches or uh, 25 m uh, 50 mm sorry 50 mm or you can say 2 inches the first stirrup should be placed with the distance of 2 inches okay so this is the seismic hook details which i have discussed the front of you now let me discuss the joint for lapping okay so guys you can see this is the lapping in column so therefore we should provide the slope here guys you can see the slope okay therefore so the slope should be maximum one ratio six the slope so this is very important so if you provide the slope then the other steel should be joined in this place okay so the maximum should be one ratio six okay the last one is exterior beam column joint okay intermediate and intermediate level guys you can see this is the beam okay and here guys you can see development length and also the bottom is going to the upward side so this is development length okay so development length is ld okay where the ld should not be less than from is 456 2000 on 41 d okay where d is die of steel rod then you can get this length okay from is 456 2000 now guys you can see this is the joint between uh, beam and column okay so you will get like this the joint okay so therefore this is very important to know about this now guys you can see the stirrup is placed with two inches minimum it should be two inches as i told you before in this detail okay especially for the uh, hooks and beam so guys, this is the very important topic to know about hooks details, lapping joint and beam column joint and intermediate level. So hope this video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.